What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today, I am going to show you how to retarget animations instantly using the new Unreal Engine 5.4 preview version. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so thanks to this new Unreal Engine 5.4 version, we can automatically retarget animations without needing to do all that stuff about, you know, creating the IK rig, creating the IK retarget assets, creating the bone chains and all that stuff. We can directly just make two clicks and we're good. So let me go ahead and firstly import my animation, okay? Which I'm gonna be importing from Mixamo, okay? Uh, Mixamo is basically a free animation library. We can get a whole bunch of different animations. So I will use one of those as an example for this third. So I'm gonna right click, create a new folder and put something as Mixamo animation. And let me go ahead and import this. Right, so let me go ahead and drag this, okay? And we have this panel. Let me click reset to default just in case. And I'm gonna create a new skeleton and everything like that. So I'm gonna leave this empty. These two things ticked, and then in animation, I'm gonna make sure that I have import animations ticked. So of course, we will import the animations. And then I'm gonna say import all, and after a few seconds, I should have, we have a few warnings, but that's okay. We have the boxing animation here. So if I double click on boxing and then make some out come, we have it there. So let me go ahead and save everything, and let me just rename this to use boxing animation. And it's gonna be a bit more organized. And let me delete this empty animation that I imported. There we go. So now I have this animation, right, playing on the Mixamo rig. And of course, this, you know, skeleton mesh and skeleton is different from the Manny, right? So how can we use and retarget basically this animation for our Manny character? We can, you know, use it here in the gameplay. Well, before we had to create a lot of different IK rigs, retarders, bone chains, but now I can just right click on the animation itself and click on retarget animations. Then this new new panel will go ahead and open up and we have the source skeleton mesh set as the one of boxing, which is Mixamo. And then the target skeleton mesh, well now we can go and search for Manny. Let's uh, select Manny simple in this case. And boom, we can now just go double click on boxing animation and we can see automatically our animation being retarded in real time. That's so cool. We did not do anything at all. Just two clicks and maybe for a new user, this seems pretty normal, but for one, you know, that has been using Unreal for some time now, has been, you know, needing to retarget animations one by one. This is like <laughs> so cool. And, you know, I I'm so glad. So now we have two buttons and we actually have two options here. First of all, of course, we can export the animation itself or we also have the option to export the retired assets. As I mentioned before, before we need to create, um, you know, the IK rigs and whatever, well, we can also automatically create them uh, using this button, which is pretty cool. But in this case, we can just click on export animations, select the, where I say the uh, make some animation animation folder and then click export. Uh, just leave everything by default, export. And there we have our animation and it is being used with the many animation which uh mesh sorry so that's so so cool and like i mentioned before i can also go and right click again select many over here to retarget and i can go and export also the retarieter assets so imagine that i go to content and press export now we have the ik rigs for both of them created and with all the bone chains okay if i click on ik retarded bone chains all of this, guys, we needed to do it manually, okay, one by one in the past. But now they're automatically done, which is really cool. The same with Manny. And also, of course, we have the IK Retarded itself, which is the one that, you know, joins both IK rigs and just does all the magic. But now we can do that automatically, which is so cool. I'm so glad. And I just made a video on also how to install on Engine 5 for preview, which I will link in the description, yeah, just in case you want to try this all out. So that's it guys, if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so check them out, join my Discord server, follow me on my socials, and now yes, we'll all said bye bye.